वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंड ऑफ फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एट जीरो फाइव वन वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू टाइमर काउंटर प्रोग्रामिंग इन एट जीरो फाइव वन वेन यू डू प्रोग्रामिंग ऑफ टाइमर काउंटर देर आर फ्यू बेसिक थिंग्स दैट यू मस्ट नो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू ऑल दोज बेजिक्स फर्स्ट आफ्टर दैट आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू राइट प्रोग्राम फॉर टाइमर एंड काउंटर इन एट जीरो फाइव वन See, first of all, you should know there are two timers which is there with microcontroller eight zero five one, T zero and T one. When you talk about T zero, then T zero is of sixteen bits, that is further divided into T H zero and T L zero. Similarly, T one that is also of sixteen bits, that is further divided into T H one and T L one. So that is up to you which timer that you want to use. Why we need to use this timer? The reason is inside this we will be loading the value of count. So you will have to see the problem first. In question you will have to see what you are delivered to do. Based on that you will have to identify how much count that I need to load inside this resistors. that's why these resistors are essential once you understand this you will have to understand two more resistors t mode resistor and t con resistor how you need to understand let us try to understand that see you have t mode resistor t mode resistor does what it explains you whether you want to use this timers as a timer or counter so there will be ct bar bit ct bar bit explains you whether this is counter or a timer now you will have to understand what is the meaning of counter and what is the meaning of timer see timer means what we are taking internal clock input with 8051 so 8051 is having oscillator clock inside that is given as a timer and that we use it for generation of delay here when you want to operate that as a counter at a time you will be taking clock from external pin so when you want to count external event at that time you will be using this as a counter right so understand this so when you take input from external pin at that time it will be working as a counter that you will have to define inside t mode resistor and here my dear students once you understand ct bar bit you will have to understand in which mode you want to operate m0 m1 two bits are there for timer 0 and timer 1 that will define in which mode this timers will work there can be four different modes mode 0 mode 1 mode 2 and mode 3 generally we use mode 1 only so for that you will be using that two bits as 0 1 to operate it with mode 1 why the reason is maximum count is possible in mode 1 that's why here my dear students once you understand t mode resistor you will have to understand t con resistor t con resistor controls timer t con resistor is used to start the count operation so tr bit is there when you make it to 1 you will be starting count when you make it to 0 you will be stopping count here my dear students when you start the count with respect to clock count will increase inside tr0 and tr1 with every clock it will increase by 1 when there is a overflow means when it reaches from fffff to 000 there will be roll over and it will give interrupt on tf bit that is also there on t con resistor so here my dear students you will be checking this bit as well to understand whether count is finished or not you can stop count in between as well but here my dear students when you generate delay at that time you will be checking that tf bit so that is there inside t con resistor so this is what you need to configure to have a programming now i'll explain you how we can program timer counter along with practical example so that will gives you more clarity 
so let us see the problem definition first so here problem statement is write a program to generate square wave of 1 kilohertz on pin txd pin assume oscillator frequency to be 12 megahertz over here so here my dear students we are dealing with to generate square wave so for that 8051 should be used as a timer only right so first of all we need to understand what is square wave you see square wave that is having frequency of 1 kilohertz so 1 kilohertz is having total time period here 1 divided by 1 kilohertz means 1 millisecond so for half millisecond wave should be positive and for another half millisecond wave should be negative so based on half millisecond we need to load the value of count and then we need to complement that pin which is txd pin right here my dear students first of all we need to configure t mode and t con resistor here for that we need to see how format is there you should remember this and for t mode and t con first of all what we will be doing is we will be configuring t mode that is to define timer over here so here my dear students what i'll be doing is i'll be using timer 0 and as i'm using timer 0 i'll be ignoring all the data which is there with respect to timer 1 so what i'll do is with this t mode resistor i'll keep all these bits as 0 as i'm not using timer 1 i'm using timer 0 so let us focus about timer 0 only so in timer 0 i want to generate a delay of half millisecond as i have told you so for that first of all i'll be keeping this mode bit as 0 1 why the reason is in mode 1 you have maximum count in 8051 microcontroller timer and this ct bar bit that should be 0 to operate this as timer so again you need to keep this ct bar bit as 0 so that you can operate this timer 0 as timer if you make it to 1 it will be counter here we don't want this to be counter here we just wanted to have this as a timer only and gate bit that is also 0 why the reason is we don't want external trigger to get started with count right so here gate bit is also 0 so you see what is my t mode resistor t mode resistor for timer 0 as mode 1 as a 16 bit timer you see this all are 0 on the m0 that is 1 that gives you idea about this is mode 1 right so this is how i am configuring t mode now we need to understand how we will be starting my count and how we will be stopping my count so for that you need to see t con resistor you see i have written t con resistor and in that i am operating with timer 0 so you see tr0 bit that we need to look after when you make this bit to 1 you will be starting timer 0 when you make this bit to 0 you will be start stopping timer 0 right so t con that should be you see this bit is equals to 1 other bits that i am ignoring right now let us keep that as a 0 so as this is 1 we can start the timer so t con should be 0 0 0 1 and then 4 times 0 to have initiation of timer means it will start timer and to stop timer you will have to keep all bits 0 right so to stop timer you will have to configure t con with all zeros right and now my dear students our next agenda is to understand what should be the value of count here i have told you that 1 kilohertz in that he will be having total delay of 1 millisecond out of that half millisecond should be there with logic 1 and another half millisecond should be having logic 0 on txd pin so for a generation of half millisecond delay how much count should be there so first of all you will have to understand what is that count based on foc frequency which is there with 8051 so here my dear students as i have told you half millisecond that we need to configure here and for that you need to understand one count requires how much delay you see with timer in 8051 we will be giving clock as per foc divided by 12 so one count will be having total delay of 12 divided by foc 
so 12 divided by foc foc is 12 megahertz so that will be generating one microsecond delay so one count requires one microsecond delay so for 0 0.5 millisecond how many counts are there 0 0.5 millisecond divided by one microsecond so that will be 500 and 500 in hexadecimal it will be 1 f 4 hex right and this is what we need to load as a count but here my dear students with timer 0 you cannot load it like this the reason is these timers are up counter so to load the value what we need to do we need to provide fff minus this plus 1 so you see the value of count that should be as per highest value minus this plus 1 so that is fe0c so here my dear students with timer 0 tl0 that we need to load it with 0c hex and th0 that we need to load it with fe hex right and once you load this it will be generating delay of 0 0.5 millisecond once we generate this delay what we need to do we need to complement this pin txd so here my dear students first of all we need to clear this pin which is txd line that is p3.1 pin after this what we will be doing is we will be loading this t mode which is configuring timer 0 with mode 1 after that my dear students we will be loading this count so tl0 that should be loaded with 0c and th0 that should be loaded with fe hex so that will make count is equals to 500 then my dear students we need to start the timer so to start the timer tcon that should be this so that is what i am loading inside tcon after that my dear students we need to wait for timer overflow timer overflow that we can get to know based on tf0 bit of tcon resistor so we will be checking this bit whether it is one or not if it is one then it will skip this instruction so you see jnb means jump if not tcon 0.5 means tf0 bit over here so here as if it is zero it will be there in this wait state only it will be repeating this instruction only but as if there is overflow means this tl0 and th0 that is happening to be fffff then there will be rollover to 000 at that time this bit will become one and it will come out of this jump then what we will be doing we have completed this delay of 0 0.5 millisecond now we will be complementing this pin so now this pin will become one and then we will be stopping the timer by tcon is equals to this right as i have explained over here after that my dear students we will be repeating this so when we repeat this next time as per complement for next 0 0.5 millisecond delay it will be one and after another 0 0.5 millisecond delay it will become zero so that is what keeps on repeating over here as per repeat what you will be observing is here there will be generation of square wave of 1 kilohertz on txd pin that is how continuously things will get repeated and it will be generating square wave i hope it is clear to you still if any confusion is there just post that in comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video